Hello there folks and welcome to a brand new edition of Retro Sundays. Today it's time for something it is fair to say is a little bit different but not too against the grain than we might have gone. Today it is time for Golden Balls, Jasper Carrots Golden Balls. Now if you've got absolutely no idea what's going on here or what Golden Ball is, please let me tell you. Uh, Golden Balls is a video game by Endemol UK based upon the UK TV series of the same name hosted by Jasper Carrot, the man who is supposedly in that picture on the left, but as you can see from the proper picture on the bottom left of the screen, I don't think the uh, player face was ultimately too brilliant. Peggy Ray to the game at 3 plus. It was released for the Wii on November the 18th, 2008. So this is definitely classed as a retro game. 12 years old now, that's scary to say. And the game plays exactly the same as the show Golden Balls. I'll talk you through that as we go through. It's got the same four rounds. Now, <laughs> there are a number of... Um, default characters and this is just quite unbelievable somebody has sat here on wikipedia and done all of them so we've got an estate agent male name steve a this oh sorry a builder where's the builder male he's called ron there's a bank manager called guy a fast food employee called toby looks exactly like me we've got a lawyer called reginald we've got a university professor called sylvester a ferry captain called where's he i don't think he's on here He's not on here, that's a shame. Hmm. A doctor called Sam. A police officer called... Again, not on here. A student called Amy. A beautician called Yvonne. A rock singer called... I've just seen the rock singer. Jamie. Apparently that's female. Eh, I suppose it could be. Right. An airline stewardess called Tammy. A librarian called Sylvia. A charity worker called Rose. A secretary called Estelle. A chef called Philippe. A PE teacher called Ken. <laughs> and a businesswoman called Kim. But I suppose it's only right, seeing as my name is Toby from TIJ Gaming, that we go for the fast food. Fast food? Fast food um, employee. I've done quite a few game shows in the past on this uh, channel, of course. Who wants to be a millionaire? Buzz. But it's fair to say, absolutely nothing like this. We're playing this on the Nintendo Wii. I've got the game here, based on the hit TV show, Who's Got What It Takes to Take the Lot, a game of luck, intuition, and outrageous bluff. Excellent. So, let's get into it. A bit of a, a silly one today. Not the most serious of retro Sundays, but I've got this game, and I thought, you tell me, I'm going to get the Wii out and play this one. So, without any further introduction, let's uh, see what Jasper's got to say. Oh, that was just the title music. That is a bit of nostalgia. My God, it is. So you can play one player, two players. Obviously, I've only got one uh, connect. We've got a leaderboard here, but I've just made a profile, so I don't think anybody would be on here. Well, there you go. Absolutely no idea those are. Um, let's see what the options are. Let's get fancy. Let's have a look what the options are here. So we've got new profile, tutorial on, which we'll definitely have. Uh, credits and volume on five. Is that the highest we can go? We'll go with, we'll go with the highest volume. And we'll go back and... Uh, saving and then we'll get into a game show we'll just play the one game of golden balls i'll talk you through it this is jasper carrot by the way the uh, 70s oh here he is here's jasper honesty deception just how far would you go to be a winner on golden balls four players are going to talk their way to the big money but before the game begins allow me to introduce you to someone rather special hi well hello and now, and now let's, let's see, see if you've, you've got, got what, what it takes, it takes to take, take a lot. Excellent. There's Jasper Carrot and his supposed... Uh, there's me, look, Toby the fast food employee. Estelle. Got Estelle playing today, the secretary. Of course, these are all AI players. We're not playing this over any online network. We've got Steve, an estate agent. And the fourth player, we've got Mo, the ferry captain. Things off. Start the ball machine. There they go, round and round. 100 golden balls stuffed with cash, ranging from £10 to an amazing £75,000. It's all up there to be won, but how much money will be in today's game? Oh, the nostalgia is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. There's four killers with. Uh, 
these balls. So I think there's, I think if I'm correct, there's, everyone has four balls each. There's 16 balls to start off with. As you can see, there's four killer balls. Um, and every killer, I think, divides your total by 10. So if you had 75 grand across your other three balls, that would divide your total by three. And obviously, if you've got any killers, you want to get them out of the game. So the objective is to get the play with the most killers out of the game. But of course, it's all about bluffing. Everyone wants to stay in. And what we'll let Jasper explain. How much? We don't know. Four of them are killers. Where are they? We don't know. But we're about to find out. Let's play Golden Ball. Hey, let's play Golden Balls. Jasper Carrot. If you've got no idea where Jasper Carrot is, I don't know where you've been living for the last how many years. But, uh, yes, right. I thought he was just going to say, right, boys. I think that was uh, going to take a stell out of the equation. I mean, the graphics are a suspect. Right. Okay. So this is what we've got. A pretty poor draw. 750, a killer. 250 and a thousand. So what's that? 1,800 quid. Of course, we don't know what they've got in the back row. Um, they only show what's on the front row. So she's got 950 on the front row. And we don't know on the back. He's got... Oh, Steve is uh, somebody who will probably stay in the game. I don't see him uh, being kicked out of this one. We could be out in the first round with that sort of draw. But we could be saved by the fact Mo's got 60 and a killer. I think that might be the player that we uh, we choose to vote out. Very simple concept here. I think there's three options we can go with uh, and see what happens. It's about who you believe and who you can trust. Shortly, you're going to vote someone out of the game, and their golden balls will be boomed. This used to be on the TV, by the way, ITV, for two years, between 2007 and 2009. Right, so we've got four options. We can go with the truth, bluff one, so that's the same, but with ten grand. We, we've got a killer on the front. I didn't think we had a killer on the front. I didn't realise we got a killer on the front. That's a pain. Well, they know what we've got on the front. So just the two back figures that are chaining. So 250 and 800. So we go bluff one and have ourselves 10 grand. 250 and 10 grand. Or 10 grand and 11 grand. We're not going with bluff three. That's just absolutely ridiculous. I think we can get away though with... If we go with a lower amount, 250. I'll go with that. Because we can't have what the truth is. Because we've only got two grand to our name. Which technically is 200 quid. With the uh, killer dividing our total by 10. Um, but we've got to view all the players first. So let's have a look what they all supposedly have got. So Steve um, has got 23. So he's got a killer and 19 grand. Estelle is an honest person. She can't help it. So what the bloody hell have you got on your back line? Got a 2,500. Right. And what about Mo? If he says he's got a 20 grand, he's going to be off straight away. Controller, Hello. This is the problem with the Wii Remote. It's very tricky to do while you just sat here. Right, this one here is 10... Yeah. I'm going to vote for Mo. Got to vote for Mo. Sorry, Mo. So, confirm vote for Mo. Yes. So, there's four votes. We've gone with Mo. The player with the highest amount of votes will be kicked off. Which one of them is about to leave the game? It's time to reveal who has been chosen to leave. Mo? 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 Steve? <laughs> so Mo's out quite comprehensively. I don't know who voted for Steve. Well, obviously, it was Mo. And we were quite right. He was even worse than us. He'd got what? What's that? 280 to his name, which with the killer is 28 quid. So going into the third round, we've got rid of one killer. Uh, we've got three killers at the moment, which is all well and good. And uh, I think... Yeah, it's 15 balls now, isn't it? Because there's four each. And uh, here are our balls, so we obviously lied about that. Yeah, there's a killer. There's two other killers in the game. She's got a killer. She said she got 2,500, to be fair. But she didn't say about the killer. So there's two killers, and he's got to have a killer. He was right as well. He said he got a killer and 19 grand. So myself and Steve, the only two that were bluffing. To be honest, Steve and Estelle had no reason to bluff. But let's see what draw we have next. The 12 surviving golden balls are loaded back into the ball machine. Remember, they could be worth anything. But where there's cash, there are killers. One more killer ball is added to the mix. There are now 15 golden balls in the ball machine. So one more killer's added, so we've got four killers. I don't see how that works, but ah, right, there's five balls each. That makes sense now. So five balls at random, two on the front. As usual, and then three at the back. So we can't see what anybody else has got at the back. Hopefully, we don't have a killer on the front because 
we were pretty lucky to be still in the game after that first round. So we've got a killer. That's a pain in the backside. 2,500 though on the front. Estelle, well, she's going to be in the final, whatever happens. Unless she's got three killers on the back, which could be a possibility. And Steve's got 850 quid on the front. So I think, unfortunately, we're just going to have to we're going to have to really go for it and try and get Steve out of this. It's going to be Estelle, though, who has the casting vote. So what have we got on the back? Oh. Oh, dear. That's terrible. We've got all the killers. We've got, we've got every single killer. We've got to bluff this. So we can admit to having two. I don't think we can meet to having none on the back. I think we go with what's the best one? So twelve grand and three fifty. Well, it doesn't really matter either way, does it? Let's go. Oh, seventy five grand. Jeez, we can't go with that. We'll go with that because we cannot get. If we say we've got three killers, that's basically saying, huh, yeah, get get a grip. Now we're gonna have a look at both of them, but we're gonna vote Steve off. <laughs> So what are you saying, Estelle? She's not very uh, open, is she, about what she's got? Come on. Lady Luck has given me three amazing balls. Uh, uh, pff, speak for yourself. Okay, what do you reckon you've got? If you stick with me, we're going to be rich. Well, we know none of them have got killers on the back. We've got to save our own bacon. We're not going to vote for ourselves. So come on, Steve. Let's vote for Steve and hope that Estelle is uh, a little bit gullible and that... Uh, but saying that, haven't we admitted to have two killers? I think we've admitted to have two killers, so that was a bit of a stupid one, really. If we don't get voted off here, it's a miracle. So that's our vote. Steve's been voted off! Steve has been voted off! Well, Steve voted for Estelle. That is amazing. And she voted for Steve. Well, we've really craftily got our way through this. Because we've just lost Steve's fortune, which was about, I think, five or six grand looking quickly. At least Estelle's got the money, but we've still got three killers. I mean, we've just managed to really craftily get ourselves through. And Estelle um, has got one killer. Of course, there's four killers. I forgot about that. But she's got some big, serious money. She's got over 40 grand. Balls remain in play. They're going back into the ball machine, and one final killer golden ball is being added. But somewhere in those 11 balls are the five cash amounts that can make up your maximum potential win today. I think golden balls is still on challenge, you know, here in the UK. I'm very tempted to go and watch it after this. But now you have to play together to build up as much cash as you can. It's time to play, bin or win. So it's fairly obvious, bin or win. You bin one ball, and then you pick another one. To choose two balls each. One is to bin, the other is to win. The ball to bin goes out of the game for good, whether it's a cash ball or a killer ball. The ball to win goes into your top golden five, which will make up your jackpot total today. If you pick a killer ball to win, it will knock a zero off your cash amount so far, effectively dividing it by 10. Good luck. Now then, the player that brought through the most money goes first. Well, I don't even have to explain everything, because so far Jasper has explained everything. So Estelle, Pick a ball. she's picking a ball to bin. There's four killers in there. Oh... She's been the 19 grand, the second most valuable ball. 600 quid, I mean, at least she's avoided a killer, but been in that 19 grand. Well, there's some killers in there. What do we go with? I'm going to go with the middle ball. Yes, well done. Great choice. So that's one of the killers gone. There's four killers, I think. Can we avoid one? I'm going to get one with the right. Oh, well. We got two killers out, but unfortunately the killer is there. But luckily it just divides that total by 10 to put to 60. Anything else is added. So she's dropped the 350, not the worst thing in the world. Let's hope it's not another killer. Or else it'll be on £6. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I mean, there's only one killer left, luckily. Now, what we could do with doing here is binning the, the other killer... And whacking the 20 grand on there. I'm going to go with the bottom left ball. Yes, we've done it. So, 
We know we're going to have at least six pounds to our name. Two, one of these is the 20 grand. Three of these are, are lower numbers. I'm going to go because our last ball. Go with the one on the bottom right. 1,200, I'll take that. So that puts our amount to 60, 1,260 quid. So she's going to pick a ball to bin. Don't bin the 20 grand. Oh, it's another killer. I didn't realise there were that many killers. Okay. Right, I don't think there are any more. So it's going to be the 20 grand or something else. It's 2,500. So the only ball left by chance is that 25 grand. Just leaves the last ball to bin. This will confirm it. Oh, oh, the two biggest amounts. 19 grand and 20 grand. So after the killer balls, we're playing for £3,706. So now we've got one decision to make. Now face a very straightforward choice. It's a choice that could make one or both of you some money. But it could also lose you everything. You have to decide to split or steal. Again, we don't have to say anything. Jasper just does it perfectly. She's not the sort of person who does that. To be fair, she has been very honest throughout. But seeing as... And I wouldn't usually do this. Seeing as we've really been mean throughout the whole game, I'm going to pick to steal. If both if both of us choose to steal, oh there we go. I mean he's saying it. The one choosing the split ball gets nothing. If you both try to steal, then neither of you will win a penny, and you'll leave here with nothing. I mean he's just perfect, but we're gonna go with steal. We're gonna pick our chance. I think she's been a little bit too honest. So unless she's got something up her sleeve, I think we could be walking away with the money. Let's see. Well, you. <laughs> Unbelievable! I said that uh, she was uh, being very honest throughout, and I thought she might have something up her sleeve. I've been Jasper Carrot. This has been Golden Balls. Goodbye. Oh dear, that was fun. I mean, after all that, nobody wins anything. After all that, there is no money going out to anybody. But that was a hell of a lot of fun. And I think after that, I might play that in my free time. But. Uh, yeah, play win win play one win, wins nothing, but at least we didn't get voted out and we did very well there. So that is a taste of Golden Balls, the hit TV show. As I've said, I'm sure there are plenty of real episodes on YouTube, etc. You can go and watch. I probably will watch it because it was a great uh, it was a great show. I don't know why they cancelled it, but absolutely awesome that they put a game out for this on the Wii and the DS. And uh, I think this was one pound fifty from CEX, so an absolute bargain and uh, a real nostalgic. Uh, and especially nostalgic episode today because I loved Golden Balls and uh, well absolutely fantastic if you enjoyed it too make sure leave a like down below comment your thoughts and comment any other retro games you'd like to see on the series but subscribe for retro content on a weekly basis as well as sports content in the week including Snooker 19 and potentially a new game coming next week you might have to find out what that is but you'll only find out if you subscribe hit the notification button as well to get a notification every time a video is released and check out the Retro Sundays players for plenty more retro nostalgic feels of different games but apart from that that is it from me today so thank you very much for watching i've been ti gaming until the next time see you guys later goodbye for now